Happy last Tuesday before 2022. Fabulous. Nar is here with today's fix. Kicking it off, Riot Games is set to pay $100 million in a discrimination lawsuit. Remedy Entertainment and Tencent partnered to develop a new co-op game. And to top it off, we're talking about Sonic the Hedgehog Green Hill Zone getting the Lego treatment. <laughs> Riot Games, the company behind League of Legends and Valorant, will pay out a total of $100 million in a global settlement agreement with the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing, California Division of Labor Standards Enforcement, and several private plaintiffs to resolve its gender discrimination lawsuit from 2018. The agreement went into detail how Riot will pay $80 million to all current and former full-time employees and temporary contractors in California who identify as women and worked at the company from November 2014 to present day. The remainder $20 million will go towards attorney's fees and other miscellaneous expenses. Riot has also agreed to have its internal reporting and pay equity procedures monitored by a third-party company that would be approved by both the DFEH and Riot Games for three years. In the coming months, the final approval of this settlement will take place as the settlement is currently pending in court. This has been an ongoing process since three years ago when gender discrimination settlement was filed in 2018 after a report from Cecilia D. Anastasio with Kotaku at the time exposed the sexist culture that had been prevalent at Riot Games. Kotaku spoke to 28 current and formal employees for that piece who had experienced toxic environment and witnessed firsthand employees being rewarded for behaviors that disadvantage women. Jean Harrison, whose law firm represented the plaintiffs, issued a statement saying, This is a great day for the women of Riot Games and for women at all video game and tech companies who deserve a workplace that is free of harassment and discrimination. We appreciate Riot's introspection and work since 2018 toward becoming a more diverse and inclusive company, its willingness to take responsibility for its past and its commitment to continued fairness and equality in the future. So this particular case is coming to a close, Riot Games CEO Nicola Laurent was sued earlier this year following allegations of sexual harassment and discrimination. Riot's investigation showed no evidence of these accusations. At this time, the case is considered separate from the $100 million settlement. In other news, Remedy Entertainment, well known for its games Control and Alan Wake, and Tencent, well known for like everything in gaming, have partnered up to develop a co-op multiplayer game codenamed Vanguard. This should not be confused with Call of Duty Vanguard. Rather, this will be a free-to-play cooperative PvE shooter that combines Remedy's narrative expertise and action gameplay into an immersive multiplayer experience. I don't know about you, but that kind of sounds like every game out there. The game will be developed with Unreal Engine for both PC and consoles, with Tencent localizing Vanguard for selected Asian markets and porting a mobile version of the game. The game's development budget for the first year will be the range of a typical Remedy AAA game, with both Remedy and Tencent co-financing development with each responsible for publishing and games operation costs in their territories. The new game announcement follows news from May 2021 when Tencent acquired 3.8% stake in Remedy, about 500k shares, but with no game announced back then, no one was sure what was to come. With this news, Vanguard marks Remedy's first entry into games as a service business model and paves the way for an ambitious global plan to prototype and ship new types of ongoing live multiplayer games experiences. And finally, the most iconic level in any game, the 1991 Sonic the Hedgehog Green Hill Zone for the Sega Genesis, is getting the Lego treatment thanks to 24-year-old Viv Grinnell. The concept came to Grinnell through the Lego Ideas platform, where it reached 10,000 votes from the community, at which time the Lego team decided to make it a reality. The LEGO IDEA Sonic the Hedgehog Green Hill Zone set is a 1,125-piece set and it includes five minifigures including Sonic, Crab Meat, Motobug, Dr. Eggman, and the Phantom Ruby. Additionally, the box will come with packaged TV monitor power-ups, Eggman's Eggmobile, gems, 10 boxes of golden colored rings, and a technique lever to spring Sonic and friends into the air. It will be made available come January 1st, 2022 for $69.99 USD. I don't know about you guys, but as a Sega fan, I will totally own this set and like never play it. Just like keep it as a family heirloom in a box for my children to worship forever.
And that was your Games Fix for today, December 28th. We have four more days remaining in 2021, so let me know what your most fondest moments in gaming were this year. I'll let you know mine very soon. Download the IGN app on all your devices, follow the Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for everything else, head on over to IGN.com. I'm Nars, and remember to always stay fabulous. Thank you.